No, guys. Okay, 2012 and got it going again. Here I have the hex controller running. You'll see it's driving two motors that I wound up in series or connected in series. There's a negative wire going through positive. Positive is connected to the negative of this motor coming through and all connecting back over here. So these are in series. There you can see the motors are actually spinning. Okay. Um, <clears throat> the black wire over here goes up to that's the charging choke. This red wire over here will follow it down, comes into the toroidal core. Okay. And then, of course, we have negative coming into the X controller, and we have positive coming into the X controller as well. I have it all connected up to my scope. And I'll show you this. It's the signal over there. You can see it's jumping around, the trigger is not 100% proper, but the frequency is roughly about 20 odd kilohertz as soon as I get the trigger. Um, no, you can see that it is pulling power from the machine or from the battery as we go along. This is still the normal 12 volt 18 amp hour battery I've been using all along. Okay. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull off the connection to or the power for the two motors. And I want you to see immediately the power starting to increase as I do that. Um, needless to say, the X controller is providing some of the power already to the circuit. So the battery is draining already slower than usual. But I want to show you what happens if I take this off. So... There you can see we're at 12701, 689, and let me take this off. And there you can see it starts jumping immediately. So at this point in time, the X controller is taking over. You can see that the frequency remains the same. Here we go. And looking back. You can see that the battery is charging at quite a nice rate. <coughs> so this is about the best performance I've managed to get out of the X controller thus far. So going ahead, um, I do not know what the, at what rate I'm charging at yet in terms of amperage that I'm putting back because I only have this one meter. But I'll see if we can measure that as well at some point in time. But at least this should be conclusive evidence that the controller is still working as planned or as designed. And going ahead, we need to improve on it. So there you go. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you again. Ciao.